Hey everybody, Sean here at Lowell Ranch. All right, so it's been a busy uh, couple days. I took a few days off work, uh, tried to get some stuff done, and Cade was here to help me, uh, and Jamie, so uh, awesome stuff that we've gotten done. Um, so a couple things we'd been talking about was uh, water catchment and fencing. Um, so you can hear probably in the background, but we got guys out here digging holes uh, for uh, the fencing. So um, I'll walk over here switch the video around so you can see uh, we cleared a whole bunch of cedar trees to make a fence line and essentially uh, section off uh, the back 20 acres or something so the animals can go all right so you can see here this is the corner of the barn northwest corner and uh, you can see the dots that's where they're drilling holes so this goes all the way back we cleared that fence line and those guys are back there drilling holes in the ground, which I'm thankful that they're doing it because uh, it's a lot of work. Um, but essentially this whole area back here is gonna be about half acre. We'll clear out all those trees as well. And that'll be for uh, garden space. So at the same time this weekend, we put in two water catchment tanks. So we had done the, uh, <clears throat> we had done the gutters before, and then we got the, uh, had the road base to level them out, put in the piping for the water catchment tanks, and then we ran them together so they're actually piped together underground. I think I've shown videos before where uh, it goes into the barn, so they're teed off together and go into the barn right there. So this one sits a little lower than the other one, um, but we're gonna tap off of this one as well for uh, the garden, so I think that'll be okay. One thing that I've learned the hard way is that there is so many different types of pipe. <laughs> Schedule 40 pipe, SDR 35, there's DV, DWV, so many different things. Um, so just needing drainage pipe. Anyways, I've ended up with this big pile of leftover gutters and stuff just because I don't know what I'm doing. So I'm trying to figure it out as I go. And half the time I buy the wrong thing. And then the manufacturer of these tanks the overflow right here, they said you needed Schedule 40 pipe. So I bought Schedule 40 pipe, Schedule 40 fittings, everything like that. Um, I went to hook it up. It's not. It's 4-inch drain pipe, and drain pipe. So, oh well. Just another trip to Lowe's to return stuff. But inside the barn here, the water catchment will come in. Let me flip the camera around. Now, one thing that we've, uh, that this is all dependent upon is rain. So we've got 5,000 gallons of water catchment out there and off of that side of the roof um, An inch of rain we should be able to get it, you know, about a thousand gallons I think I, I got to do the math again, but it's pretty close to that Which means we'd have to get like five inches of rain and I'm not sure if we've gotten that all year yet We're in a severe drought. So trying to check into somebody said that you could get um, People to come out and fill up the tanks for you. So we're looking into that as a way to get started um, and at least have some water until it starts raining. And then we're gonna keep the IBC tote, uh, obviously as a backup. I think I'm gonna to try to find a way to um, hook it up on the outside of the barn. And then uh, if I do that, I'm gonna to have to paint the IBC tote so uh, it won't grow algae and stuff like that since it's clear. But I think we'll do that as a backup so that um, if we have a period of time without rain and we can't get somebody to fill it up, then um, I'll just go fill up the IBC tote from the well bring it up here, tap it in, and, um, and we'll have water. So uh, next time we'll have to do, we're gonna do some um, gutters off the front. And you can see behind me here where the, the cows are. Um, kinda out by those trees, we're gonna do gutters and run some underground piping kinda out by those trees so that out in that common area where the animals will be roaming around, um, then uh, we can have a water tank out there with some water and uh, it'll fill up from the rain. So we'll see how that goes. Normally the cows have been out every day, which has been awesome. They're mowing my grass great. We just haven't pinned up today because we got the people here drilling, drilling holes. Um, but the poor goaties, they haven't been out yet. So they're over there somewhere. We're excited to get them out. And uh, once we get this fence up so they can roam around and help mow the grass as well. That's when, been one of the benefits. The cows do a great job down by the house. Like I don't have a lawnmower yet. <laughs> so we, we live on 33 acres. I have the shredder on the back of the tractor, um, but I haven't bought a lawnmower yet. So we were just weed eating the front yard 
and anywhere down by the house, which was fine when uh, my uh, middle son was living at home and it was his job. <laughs> but now that he's gone and it's my job, uh, then it's a little bit more. So I uh, love that the cows go down there and keep the, the grass to a really nice level. So I think that's all for today. We'll keep more updates as we frame up this room and we get the fence built. And um, once we get some pipes in the ground, we can start showing kind of like what the fence line's looking like. All right, we'll talk to y'all later. Bye.